Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to another video. So we are installing the Morimoto four banger fog lights onto my Toyota 4Runner. The first step is you have to take off your front bumper. You could reach it, but doing brackets and stuff like this, I just like to take the bumper off anyways. So I will leave that video up in the iCard up above on how to take off your front bumper. Go ahead and open this up for you guys. The link will be down in the description, but check out this box. Like how cool is that? You got the Jeep with the mountains, and then I chose to do the clear one. They do have amber, but essentially this is just plug and play, and the whole kit will come with these brackets right here. So essentially they're just gonna take over those mounts from the OEM, you're gonna put these brackets there, and then you will have these lights on your vehicle. Okay, so I installed one into this, and I just wanna show you all how the bracket is. So in the kit, it comes with the provided screws, they, these are hex tip screws, and they also already have like the little bit of Loctite on it. This little bracket right here that comes in it, basically this is gonna go at the bottom of the light. So the light, you're gonna have to take off the two hex screws at the bottom, and it basically allows you to loosen up that bottom screw then to position the light in this mount however you want it to go. And when you take the second light right here, that mount goes down at the bottom of it, you're gonna take those two screws out, throw them in the trash, keep them for whatever you want because they provide you, you could see that these screws are shorter, they provide you with two longer screws to put into the bottom of that mount. This little set screw right here will go into the bottom. It does not have the Loctite. And then these two right here that have the Loctite on it, those are the two that are gonna go into the side of the light. Just go ahead and tighten those down. So then once you guys have everything on it, you see how this bracket says R. This bracket that I still need to do says L. So think of it as you're sitting in the vehicle you're facing forward, this is gonna go on the left side, this on the right side, and you can't mess it up, because once you have the light in, these two tabs will slide in like that. The other two will rest right here, and then you just use your OEM screws to tighten it back into place, and these ones are held over there, and you just do the same thing with the other side. And then once they're all set in, go ahead and use your OEM screws, tighten it back up, take the provided harness, because this is going to plug into our fog lights, and put the square section, look at this, all says Morimoto on it, super nice. And then put that portion into the fog light itself. Looks very OEM-esque. I like that uh, you have this that contours the fog light and then it just sits in there, seems pretty solid. So we'll go ahead and put it back on the 4Runner. And then putting the front bumper back on and holy smokes, this looks super OEM. I really like the way that it looks. Even the little brackets that the Morimoto four bangers have for them, it looks very, very OEM on both sides. So we got the passenger side, driver's side too. It actually looks pretty good with the GTR lighting headlights, man. But looks aren't everything, so let's see how these things perform at night. So the biggest complaint that I had about these GTR headlights was the cutoff. Now, I've noticed I have to angle these down, but holy smokes, these Morimotos are very, very bright. So super bright. You can see how they're aimed up pretty high. So I'm going to have to adjust those with the set screw that you guys saw in the install, but these things are super bright. So imagine them just down a little bit more. Holy smokes. And then coming around some turns again, we'll turn the fogs back on. So now we can really see. Still can't see a bit towards the left, but again, I will angle them down. Very, very bright. And then them off. I may just actually leave them up. And now I'm out of the vehicle, so we'll go ahead and turn the fogs on. You can see those trees very far away. Turn the fogs back off. So again, over here to the side, you can still see a decent amount. So once I angled these down a bit, it would be nice, but man, these little pods are so bright. Take a close look at him. Oh yeah. Well guys, these things performed freaking amazing. I'm so happy to have them on the 4Runner. Guys, link again down in the description and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.